this problem we're looking for a couple things. First one, we want to find the Norton equivalent as seen by the 4 ohm resistor. And then once we have the Norton equivalent, we'll go ahead and find that current I. So first thing to do in, f in terms of finding a Norton equivalent is we want to sever the connection there. And having done that, <coughs> find the Norton resistance using the look back method. We can do that because there are no dependent sources in this circuit. So set that to zero volts and replace that by a short. These two devices are in parallel and they turn into a single 10 ohm resistor. These are in series, turns into 20 ohms. And these are in parallel, equal valued, so just cut it in half. And we're left with a single 10 ohm resistance for the Norton resistance. Let's go ahead and bring up the original circuit. Now we're looking for a Norton equivalent, and it's maybe natural to consider finding the short circuit current, which we know is the same thing as the Norton current. Um, Except, especially in this case, I think that the problem really is more difficult to solve than trying to find the open circuit voltage. Because if we do that, it turns out that um, if we apply some nodal analysis, we get a pretty simple set of equations to solve. So uh, if we find the open circuit voltage, we know the Thevenin voltage is the same thing, and we can always get the Norton current as the Thevenin voltage over our Norton resistance, which is the same thing as Thevenin resistance, of course. So let's go ahead and give this a try. I think nodal analysis is probably the best bet for that circuit. And for our first equation, uh, let me jot that down up here, I guess. Vx minus 30 over 60 plus Vx over 12 plus Vx minus VOC over 10 equals 0. For the second equation associated with VOC, we'll have VOC minus 30 divided by 20 ohm plus VOC minus VX over 10 and that equals zero. So I've placed those nodal equations into maple and solution says that the open circuit voltage is 35 divided by 2 volts which we can then use as the result 17.5 volts. So let me bring up the original circuit again. So we've found the Thevenin equivalent of everything inside here. So I'll replace it with our simple equivalent. I'm sorry, we found the Nor Norton equivalent, so let's replace that. Actually, I have to correct myself again. We did find the Thevenin equivalent first. So to convert that to the current source form, do a quick source transformation. So that's going to be 17.5 over 10 
or 1.75 amps, 10 ohms. Let me redraw. So now to find the current that was requested, do a two resistor, two resistor voltage divider. And we get one and a quarter amps.